Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stampin' Blessings. Super excited to be back on 2022 crafting with you with Paper Pumpkin once more. And today we are going to have lots of pun and Actually, that is a pun, but I'm supposed to have lots of fun with you today. And I'm going to challenge you to actually open that kit, okay? Did you receive your paper pumpkin kit? This is the day to open it. I did, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So today for you, I have a fold that I've never tried before. <laughs> that brave, I'm gonna try it live, I'm gonna try it with you, and we're gonna try it together, and I'm super excited to check it out and see how it ends up, okay? So let's turn my camera around and go stamping if you come in say hello at the end of my video i always have an encouraging word for you so thank you for staying till the end let's go craft it so, let's try it i'm gonna show you first what you're going to need and we're gonna use this kit to actually embellish the card at the end so i'll put it on the side and i'll show you what we're gonna need first of all you're gonna need one two three and four pieces of cardstock that are three inches by six inches so three by six you need four of those and i'm using thick cardstock because this is going to be pretty much the base of your card so how many four three by six you can take note of that if you wish let's put them right here you will also need about eight pieces of cardstock that are two three fourth square so two inches and three fourth of an inch squares and for that i decided i was telling my friend bobby yesterday i opened this kit i sh i think she was on the phone when i opened the kit and um i look at the envelopes and i thought oh those are way too cute look at that <laughs> you know what i in this day and age i cannot send these beautiful envelopes just through usps to be all shattered and horribly treated by the system okay so i decided to use this beautiful ones as paper instead of car stuck squares so check out what i did i took those same envelopes and i cut one two same envelope three four this is the same envelope okay so i got four squares out of there and then i took another envelope and i got one two and three four five six you don't need so many <laughs> you don't need so many <laughs> i just realized that okay but hey i no wonder i was kind of thinking i miss i'm missing something in here anyhow you only need eight so if you think about it let's take this two out and you have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight and if you turn them they also have different color but this one is the same as this i only use three envelopes to cut all of these squares from these are eight two and three quarters squares okay you'll need that for your card so we're going to put that here on the side and you will also need four two three fourths times one and a quarter rectangles and for those i decided to just go for my car stock and this is the green grand granny 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 apple green okay and these are two three fourths i'm sorry yeah two three fourths times one and a quarter inch rectangles okay you need four of those so far three by six four of those two and three quarter squares eight of those two and three quarter by one and a quarter rectangles, four of those. And then you will need 16 one and a quarter inch squares. And I took all those envelopes and I made a bunch of little squares, but a bunch. When I tell you a bunch is a bunch. Look, I just kept doing as many as I could because I happened to find my one and a quarter inch um punch that i have since long time ago i don't even think this is um current but you have to use what you have as i always say and this made my cutting way way easier the, so, the envelopes were just too pretty um honestly i have to use at least one of them for a fun card so let's start that this is going to sort of embellish everything else so we're going to put it aside for now you will need a scoring board scoring tool and a tool scoring tool okay so i'm gonna bring this out and this is the way we're gonna do this each of these we're going to score at the same way 
So there are four. We're going to put it horizontally against the top. And we're going to take, I'm, I like using the small stylus instead of the bigger one in this one. And this is thick cardstock, so it actually doesn't rip as easy. And I'm going to go and score at one and a half. And then I'm going to score at four and a half. And for those who are wondering, how is this actually called? It's called the Never Ending Card. So if you made this before, this is a super cool card to make. If you've never made it like me, we are going for the fun. Okay, so one and a half and four and a half. You're gonna turn it this way, and you're gonna you're gonna score this in half, only up to this line right here, where we just did. So right there, you stop. Let me show you. You stop at this line. Okay, so this is half because this is three inches. You're going to score that one half right there to this line. Then you're going to turn this around and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to come here and you're going to go just to that line at one and a half. Do the same with all of them. Horizontally, you go one and a half, four and a half. Turn it and go one and a half to the scoring line. One and a half to the scoring line. So the next step is we're going to position these two together right here aligned and then we're going to position this one's right here aligned and what i want you to envision is that we are going to glue this ones together and let me bring another sample i actually had a time to make a little sample here of what you're going to do so you're going to take two this one's already scored but i wanted to show where are they scored and where are you going to put the glue so let me see these go up here this is the way you're going to do it okay so that you see it better and wait i have to put it this way these two are vertical you see like that vertical and these ones are horizontal but I have them together. So you're going to have them all together and you're going to put glue in the outermost squares. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is where we will be using our marvelous mono liquid glue tumbo. This is my favorite glue. And it will give us a little bit of, of time to work with them. Okay. So let's take this one out since you already saw what we are doing. Ta ta ta. Ta, ta, ta. And now we're going to put this ones together in here. And we are going to start gluing. And this is a day to have fun. So I'm excited to be here with you. We're going to open our glue and I'm going to put some glue right here. A little bit of glue right here. A little bit of glue right here. And a little bit of glue right here. I'm going to do the same with my horizontal ones. Outermost squares only, okay? And then I'm going to close this. And we're going to take this one and we're going to put it right on top of the other one. Right there and right there. I think I did that right. Then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to connect them there. And we're going to see that they are aligned well. This glue doesn't take that much to dry, so we're giving it a little bit of a press in there. I'm gonna bring it up and make sure that they are aligned, okay? Because I want all these corners together right here, all these corners together right here. Trying to make sure that everything is where it needs to go. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I am just having fun, and when you decide to have fun, you cannot let stress take the fun away, right? Today is a good day to start the year. So this is still drying a little bit. It is a good idea to let it dry. While this dries, give me a few minutes. I would love to see, because I want to embellish these cards with my stamp set. I want to embellish it with some of those bananas and cherries and um, everything else in between, you know.
but look at this stamping time this was absolutely fun absolutely awesome it's so worth it so i'm gonna put that on the side and i am sure that my car didn't need as much time I'm trying to clean my car didn't need as much time to dry but here we are i'm gonna bring my bone folder and we're gonna try to do this together so i know that the front of my card is gonna be like this Okay, it's going to be, the middle is going to be vertical, not sideways. So this is the front of my card. And the way I'm supposed to do this is you're going to take this and look sideways right there. You're going to come and you're going to bend this. I'm going to use my bone folder to make this folds in here really crisp. Okay, so I did one side already. And now I'm going to do the next one. And I'm going to do the same thing. You already had a an area there. I'm right-handed, so I twist it the other way. Okay, so already the first fold is done. Okay, this is the front of my card. And now we're going to the second part of the never ending card. And for this one, I'm going to need to pull this to this to the back as this. Okay, and we're going to use those same scoring lines that we made. And we're going to fold them like that. And let's do the other side. This is such a fun card. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm excited to make it. I'm excited that the Lord gave me this idea. And it was not my idea. It was a friend of mine who sent me this. And I remember calling it a never-ending card. So I went and found them online and learned it. And here I am with you trying to finish it. So front, let's turn it the other way. Second face. Third face. Fourth face. And we're back at the front of our card. Isn't that good? <laughs> this is so cool. I really, really like this. So I don't need that bone folder anymore. But now is when the fun part begins. And this is when I brought all my envelopes. Remember, I used the envelopes from the kit to cut a bunch of stuff out. And I ended up with a bunch of little leftovers. I'm sure I can get another piece of something in there. But so far, I'm just going to put it on this side. And we are supposed to get this out and we're going to start stamping. Now, not stamping, but decorating this. Here I'm gonna sign and this is where my card starts so my card starts right there I can definitely use some of these little thingies wherever I want to and uh, have another one there if I wish it opens like this look how cute I'm sorry that's the pits your cherry sweet though then I love you and have an excellent day and here's where i sign my card so i hope that you are super excited to try this card as you see we took a little bit of time because i was not entirely entirely ready but i was just having fun with all of you and i want to just 
bring a Bible verse that ministered to me this weekend. And through these hard days, I hope that you are blessed and you keep blessing those who need a smile in their lives. So go for the never ending card. It was not difficult to make. If I was able to make it with all of you, I'm sure you can do even better than I. Okay. Ah, God is good. I want to read to you from Philippians 2. And it's a very, very cool thing. And I'll leave you with that for the week, okay? Because it's so good. And it's actually a chapter called Shining as Stars. Philippians 2.12 says, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Do everything, everything, without complaining or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God, without fault in a crooked and depraved generation, in which you shine like stars in the universe as you hold out the word of life. I need you to hold to the word of life. I know it's very easy to complain, very easy to see all the negative and all the hardness that is going on in our world and even in our lives. But this year, the Lord still wants you to shine his light and to share his love with others. Miracles are coming and I know they're coming your way. So I bless you today with the power and the courage to keep shining his light and use your hands to bless him, craft love for others and go be the fragrance of life, the fragrance of Christ to others. I love you. Thanks for being here. Let me know if you like this com this this project. Let me uh, leave me a comment below. It is really nice to hear from you again. Happy New Year. I'll see you next Monday on Facebook Live and also in my YouTube channel. Stamp a blessing. Ciao, ciao.